Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or whenever you're watching this. Uh, my name is Dr. Erin Scully, but you can all call me Erin. Uh, I just wanted to uh, put a little video at the beginning of the first lecture so you can all see me, see what I look like, <clears throat> and get familiar with my voice and maybe put a face to that voice. Um, so this is uh, the first class for basic psychological processes of Psi 104 Lecture F uh, in fall 2020 at Concordia. So if you are not enrolled in 104 F, uh, maybe double check and make sure that you are in the right class. Um, I'm sure you will be because obviously you're on Moodle. Um, so now I'm going to switch over to screencast so you guys can look at the PowerPoint and see some more information. And we're just going to go over the syllabus today. Um, I'm going to introduce you guys a little bit more to me, as well as uh, the assignments and the structure of the course. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy and let's move on over to the screencast. So as I mentioned before, this is Basic Psychological Processes, Psi 104F, Fall of 2020. And again, I'm Dr. Erin Scully. You can just call me Erin if you'd like, or Dr. Scully. Uh, my email is erin.scully at concordia.ab.ca. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and send me an email. Now, I thought you all might enjoy learning a bit about me. Um, so if you want to know more about me academically, uh, you can visit my personal webpage. I have a link here. Uh, it's just on Weebly, so you can see some of the cool research I've done, as well as where I went to school. Um, but a bit about me is I am actually from the States. So I grew up in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Um, it's a small suburb of Minneapolis. So I usually like to say I'm from Minneapolis because it was only about five minutes from my house. Um, so Minnesota is known for the Minnesota Twins, my favorite baseball team. And of course, Prince is our uh, big export. We all love him, his Purple Rain. If you haven't heard it, highly recommend. Um, so after high school, I went and I did my undergrad at Drake University, home of the Bulldogs in Iowa, which was known for its vast fields of corn. Everywhere you look, there's corn. Um, so I got a bachelor's of science in biology and psychology. I was a double major. Um, and then from there, I moved up here to Edmonton and I got my master's in psychology at the U of A. Um, and then I just completed my PhD in psychology again at the U of A just this past March. Uh, so I'm newly a doctor. This is my first time teaching as a doctor, so it's pretty exciting. Um, so moving on then, uh, so what do I study? So my research is in comparative cognition and behavior psychology. So basically, uh, it's kind of a combination of neuroscience and psychology. Um, specifically, my thesis, my PhD thesis, was called Behavioral and Neural Perception of Auditory Communication in Songbirds. So what that means is I studied uh, songbirds, specifically the chickadees that we have all around Edmonton here, and uh, I looked at if their perception at a neural level changes based on the season, uh, based on call timing, so how often um, a bird will sing in a certain amount of time, as well as on species. So do birds respond differently to their own species versus different species, uh, depending on you know, who lives near them, as well as who they're more related to evolutionarily. So again, if you want to look at my publications, definitely don't have to. I just like putting the link there in case you're interested. Um, if you have more questions about this, feel free to ask me, or again, there's more information on my webpage or these publications. Now we're going to move into the syllabus for this class specifically. 
So the course description is an introductory study of human behavior that covers psychological, or sorry, physiological sensation, perception, learning, memory, cognition, motivation, states of consciousness, and methodology. Uh, so again, that's going to be pretty much the same for all 104 classes, so no, no new things there. Uh, the course learning outcomes, you can read that yourself. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, um, but pretty much I want you to learn not only how uh, psychology works, but I also want this to be kind of an introduction to university if this is your first year. So how uh, to send proper emails, how to address different uh, people. Um, for instance, I said I was Dr. Aaron Scully. So, you know, I told you you can call me Aaron. But if you didn't know that, then you would call me Dr. Scully. Um, another thing is that I am not a professor. So you wouldn't call me Professor Scully, just Dr. Scully. It's a bit confusing. Um, but what you can always do is just look at uh, someone, how they sign off their emails, or even uh, if you look at their web page, how do they call themselves, and then just go off of that. Um, if you'd like more information, uh, just let me know, and I can do a whole intro to uh, university if you guys would like. Also, I really want to stress the critical thinking applications. Um, so that's why I'm going to have you guys do a few more assignments than usual, because I want you guys to really learn how to think for yourselves and take this information that I'm going to be giving you and have you think about how you can apply that to real life. So I've had a few questions already, um, and of course everyone wants to know, do I need to buy the textbook? Um, in general, I would say, you know, the textbook is a great resource. Um, I do really enjoy this textbook, as well as this textbook is good for both 104, which you're in now, as well as 105. So it's one textbook for two classes, so I think it's actually worth it. Um, of course, if you don't want to buy the textbook, there is an option at the campus library. Um, I'm not sure how COVID's affecting that, but I do know that the textbook is available there. Um, one thing is that we're asking this year that everyone gets an ebook rather than a physical copy, um, just because it's a bit easier, it's cleaner, um, and also the e-textbook is very nice and very easy to follow along. Um, but if you want to get a physical textbook, by all means, go for it. Um, if you, there's an older version, again, probably just as good if you know someone that uh, maybe took the class last year go ahead and buy their textbook off of them. Um, it is the Psychology Themes and Variations 5th Canadian Edition um, that we're using. If you want to order online the e-textbook, uh, you can go to the link that I have on here, vitalsource.com. Um, with the textbook, there is an optional resource that you can get. Um, it's called MindTap. And what MindTap is, is um, it kind of just, it's, the e-textbook plus some free quizzes and study material on it as well. That's very helpful, especially in an online learning environment, since you don't quite get as much feedback and question time as you normally would. So I would highly recommend getting MindTap. Um, again, if you buy the e-textbook, you can get it with MindTap. Uh, I think it's just an extra maybe $10, $20, not too much extra. Um, and again, the mind tap comes with the e-textbook that you can still highlight and make notes on via your computer. So you don't lose any of that great uh, study material. And if you do join MindTap, then there's a course key that you can get into. And if you do that, then you can actually see my notes that I make on the textbook or any notes that I leave on the MindTap platform itself. Uh, so that course key is at the bottom of this slide there in white. MTPQXNDNT0F1. Um, if you don't want to get MindTap, that's totally fine too. I understand. Um, but it is just, you know, some fun uh, extra material. And if you're not sure, there is a free trial period. I believe it's 14 days um, from today. So you have to start it today and 14 days from today the uh, free trial will end. So go ahead, 
check it out, see if you like it. If you don't, don't buy it. If you do, go for it. Um, but that's how the textbook's going to work. Um, so the class structure of this uh, lectures will be that I'm going to pre-record all the lectures, just like I'm doing now, and I'm going to post them on Moodle. Um, there'll be a link to them, uh, so you can just click on the link, watch whenever you want. You don't have to do it during class time, but you are responsible for keeping up on the material. Uh, so in the syllabus itself, I did lay out some dates, uh, some rough structure of what we're going to do. Um, it's about one chapter a week. So that's really what you want to kind of keep up with. I did give this first week uh, or this first chapter a bit longer because I know it's uh, the beginning of term and you're still kind of figuring things out. So I wanted to give you extra time for chapter one and then we're going to start picking it up a bit. Um, if you have trouble at all with uh, keeping it up, or if you want a more detailed schedule, send me an email and we can talk. Um, for office hours, um, because we're all online, um, and I know some people might not be in Edmonton, so having just a certain office hour might not be great for everyone, I would really love to do it just by appointment. So if you guys could just email me if you have questions, I can set up a Google Meet with just you and me, or if there's a you know, a group of you talking and you all have the same question, we can do a Google Meet session all together and I can cover those questions for you. But I don't want to pre-book those uh, just for me to sit around on Google all by myself. Never fun. Uh, so like I said, at any point you have questions about anything, I am here, send me an email. Now moving on to the syllabus, uh, we're going to go over where your grade's going to come from. So the big things in the class, obviously, will be your midterms and final exam. So there's going to be two midterms this class, um, one at the very beginning of October, I believe, and then the second one mid-November. I might be wrong. Check the syllabus. The dates are there. Um, and then we have the final exam. Now, the final exam is not booked quite yet, so I don't have that date, but I will let you know as soon as I know. Now, for the exams, the midterms and the final exam, I am going to uh, make the questions mostly based on what I cover in lecture. Now, uh, the textbook material will be, you know, fair game. So if you don't buy the textbook, you might miss out on a couple questions. However, you should be able to get an A, 100%, just on the lectures themselves, but of course the textbook is great because it does explain things in a different way in case my explanation is not good enough, or if I, for some reason, forget to cover something I wanted to and I didn't catch it, the textbook will have it as well. Um, for the exams, they will be probably mostly over 50% multiple choice, but they'll also include some fill-in-the-blank some definition type questions, and some short answer. Um, all of these exams will be uh, more of a take-home exam type of thing where I know that you're going to have access to a textbook or your material, so the questions will be tougher. Um, they're not going to be just, what is the definition of this? You know, you're going to have to think a bit more. Um, but they should still be very fair. And especially if you have your notes with you, you should do very well. Um, the final exam itself will be cumulative, which means it will cover everything we've talked about the whole course. However, it will have an emphasis on the material that we wasn't covered in midterms one and two. Um, and again, all of these exams will be conducted online. Um, and then next, we do have um, a couple assignments in this class. So the first assignments I want to talk about, I'm not going to cover too deeply today, um, but you will have two short written assignments. They're going to be worth 10% each of your final grade. Um, and again, these are meant to help your grade, but not hinder them. So uh, the first written assignment, I'm going to give you uh, some choices of real scientific journal articles. You're going to have to read them and then complete a short summary on that article. Um, 
And in that, you're going to have to, you know, tell me what the hypothesis was, what their findings were, what it means, as well as make a proper APA style uh, reference. Um, again, I'm going to have separate, uh, you know, information on that later as we get closer to uh, these assignments. Uh, the second assignment, you will have to find your own journal article, and again, I'll teach you how to do that before the assignment. Um, so the final thing I want to go over today is the last assignment. It's called Glossary Terms. Again, it's worth 10% 10, 10 of your final grade, and this is something I want you to work on throughout the entire assignment, or the entire term, sorry. Um, what this is, is you're going to take any term that we have in class, and you're going to create your own uh, definition uh, in seven words, plus or minus two words. So between five and nine words, you have to make a definition. And I want this to be fun. I want you guys to really enjoy this. Um, throughout the course, you're going to have to do 20 of these. So each term's worth 0.5% uh, of your grade. Super easy. And I have here some fun examples. So for instance, the word learning. Uh, glossary term, you know, you could say knowing when to talk and when to shush, you know, or statistics. Things are the same or different, probably. Um, and then finally, action potential, which we'll learn about later. Um, but being too positive got me fired. Um, so these ones, you know, are very, uh, very good. Um, and the whole point of these glossary terms is to help you guys really understand the terms, this term, <laughs> sorry, uh, understand the glossary terms this semester, um, as well as have some fun. Um, so, you know, you can make pop culture references, uh, you can make jokes in them, really have fun with it. Um, there is a place already on Moodle for you guys to go. You're just going to click on glossary terms, say you want to make a new uh, a new term you're gonna put it in put in the word followed by the term uh, just like I have here and again there's instructions on that uh, on that link as well and then you'll see uh, you'll be able to see what everyone else posts as well so not only are you helping yourself learn and understand these terms but you're helping your fellow classmates so again this should be really fun I really hope you enjoy it, and if people have questions, I could always uh, explain further if you need. So I hope you guys are excited for the term. This is all I have for today. Um, I really want you guys to kind of take it easy, start easy, really get your feet firm on the ground before we take off running. Um, so if you're wondering what you should do for Wednesday's class, I'd say on Wednesday, if you haven't already, Take the time to read the first chapter in the textbook, if you're going to use the textbook. Uh, if not, then you can start watching the videos that I'm going to post. So I'm going to post most of or maybe half of uh, chapter one at a time. You're not expected to watch all the videos all at once. Um, I am trying to have them split up in 15 to 20 minute intervals. Um, so again, look at the syllabus, see how long uh, I'm giving you guys for chapter one, and make sure that you are able to read the chapter and watch all the videos within that time frame. As always, if you have any questions, let me know, and welcome to the course.